this thing see me? Hi, um, my name's Adesia. Um, okay, like, don't mind the train noise that's gonna be in the background because, um, I'm, I'm outside because my room is kind of messy. And, like, my room's, like, really dark, and I don't want to look, like, darker than what I actually am. So I'm just gonna, like, you know, I'm just gonna stay outside. Okay, and, like, excuse my face because, like, I just woke up. So, um, my face looks, like, really bad. I think my face is, like, ashy, and it, it's really dry. I have eczema. This was not okay. I should have washed my face first, but it's okay because I'm just gonna get this over with. Um, if you, like, read the title, you probably already, like, are thinking, oh, 14 and pregnant, huh? Now it's windy. Okay, whoa. The camera's, like, moving. I'm, I'm sorry. This was, like, kind of a bad idea, but I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try to get it over with. Okay, so... Yes, I was 14 and pregnant. Well, I was, like, I was 14, like, when I got pregnant, like, when I conceived, and then, like, I turned 15 to, like, 14, 15 pregnant. I don't know. But, um, I'm just gonna, like, I guess say my story, how, like, it happened, and how, um, I told everyone I was pregnant, and, like, kind of, like, how my pregnancy went. And I don't know if I'll, like, say about, like, my labor story, because I don't know. I'm just gonna, like, say how, like, I got pregnant, and how I told everyone um, okay so <clears throat> one day once upon a time I was like I was really bored this is like summer 2017 this was like in July I was really bored okay so um I was like calling around asking whose houses I could go to I called my dad and I was like um can I come over he was like you only want to come over when you're bored and then he just hung up the phone and I was like oh okay so I was like you know what so I went to Facebook like I like made a status and I was like, um, I'm bored. Whose house can I go over? You know. So my friend, my ex friend, not not friend anymore. I don't think he's my friend anymore. I wouldn't say friend. Ex friend. Um, I'm not gonna use names. I'm just gonna call him S. Okay. So S texted me. It was like, hey, um, you could come over and chill. I got, you know, we could play games and blah, blah blah. Let me tell you, I, bro. I love video games. I I don't have an Xbox or a PS4. So you know, I'm like, okay, let's go. You know, I. I Let's go. He has, he has GTA, and like at the time, I was like really obsessed with GTA. I loved killing people on the game. I love on the game. So, yeah, so I was like, okay. So he told me to meet him at, at our like local HEB. If you don't know what HEB is, it's a grocery store. HEB was like five miles away, but at this time, I was like a skate, like I was skateboarding. So just e like really easy for me. Um, so I just like grabbed my board and I started skating there. As I get there. He's there, but he's there. He has a, another guy with him. That guy was my daughter's dad. I'm not going to use his name yet. Call him A, okay, because that's, like, the first letter of his name. So, um, I look at A, and I look at S, and I'm like, what's going on? He's like, oh, like, I have a, I have, like, hope you don't mind. I got a friend over. Um, he's, he's spending a night, blah, blah, blah. I, I can't leave him in my house. Okay, hi, my name's Deja, you know. He's like, oh, my name's. Uh, a okay so <laughs> so then we're like okay I'm like okay so we like we're walking to his house which is like um, like another like four or five miles and I'm like oh we get to his house and we go to um S's room everything's going really great and then you know we're like we're playing video games we're laughing we're talking making jokes and stuff and then about like two hours later like some girls knock on the door. S answered the door. It came back up to his room because it's like a two story. So it came up the stairs, came to his room. It was like, hey, I'm about to go chill with these girls really quick. I'm going to leave y'all alone in here. Leave us alone in here? So he like left us in his room and I like, um, A is still playing GTA. And I'm just there like, I'm on my, I'm on my phone looking through my news feed, you know. And then, guess whose battery dies? <laughs> like, Oh, okay, so this is what my phone wants to do now. So now my battery dies. I like put it on the charger and like my phone at the time was like really weird So I couldn't be on it while it was charging. You know, I don't know this guy I'm just like here like oh I'm just like watching him play video games like it's about like an hour later S still hasn't came into the room and um, I'm like I'm just like oh You know just like chilling here watching him play the game and then <laughs> He pauses the game, bro, and he comes and sits next to me, and I'm just like, oh, um, <laughs> lovely day we're having. He, like, sits next to me. He's like, how old are you? 
was 14 at the time and I was like I'm 14 and then he's like oh I'm 18 I was like this this isn't a good situation right now I think you should like kind of kind of scoop back for me because this is you're gonna get in trouble it's exactly why he's in trouble now but I'll get to that in another video like he like sits next to me and then basically I'm just gonna like try to cut this short so basically he starts asking me like have sex with him on another guy's bed and I'm like saying no but I kept like trying to say other things that like would refer to no like I even said that like I, like I said I wasn't comfortable with it you know like stuff like that I kept like trying to like say stuff like that but I just like didn't say no I don't know why I didn't say no I should have said no but I, I was kind of confused like I didn't know what was like really going on I, I should have said no but at the same time I'm glad I didn't because I wouldn't have had my child but um so I even tried using I tried even saying I didn't shave and he was like oh it's fine I'll just put the blanket over me and I was like what basically he keeps asking and asking I just get tired of it I'm like okay fine let's do it so that happened and no there was no protection used obviously because I have I have my child um yeah so <clears throat> that was um something and then like two three hours later that's when S decides to come back and he's like I know what y'all did I was like, what do you mean? And yeah, so we like aren't friends anymore because of that. Because he got like really upset about it. Um, but maybe you shouldn't have left me and your guy friend while you went to go talk to some girls. But that's none of my problem anymore. I hope I hope that didn't like make me sound like a hoe. Because after that, me and A kept talking. We were like going to get together. But then at the same time, I was like, you know, I don't even know you. I only met you for a, I only known you for a day. And it's like whenever I try to see you or you try, like you try to see me, it doesn't work out. So I was like, you know what? I, like I don't think this is gonna work. So I kind of like stopped talking to him. But then I can't. Okay. So I stopped talking to him. Yeah, like a month and like three weeks later, I like start feeling sick, you know? And like, I'm like, I'm always like throwing up and stuff. But then I'm like, you know what? I'm still like wait for my period, you know? So then I like, I'm like almost about to like miss my period. I'm all freaking out and stuff. And I'm at my friend Roxy's house. So um, my friend Roxy, she has a um, she has a baby girl of her own. She's about to turn four, but I love her so much. But anyway, so, so I'm at Roxy's house. She has a cat, and I passed by the litter box. That was like my first sign right there. But I passed by the litter box, and like I've never smelled any crap like that before in my life. It like it smelled horrible. I've never in my life smelt something that bad, and I'm like it made me throw up. And like so after I smelt her cat's litter box, I throw up, and I'm like. Okay, so like I'm throwing up and she comes in the bathroom and she's like, she's like day day because she calls me day day. So she's like day day, are you pregnant? I'm like, I hope I'm not. Like tell her no. Like I'm like there's like no possible way I could be pregnant, you know. And, like there's like kind of like a little hint in my mind, like the, like little voice in my mind saying that I probably am. So I was like, you know, I'm just gonna wait till like I, like if I miss my period, you know. So the day of my period comes. I, I didn't know what spotting was, you know, I'm still like really young, I, I, I don't know what spotting is, so like the day of my period supposed to come, I start bleeding, which was spotting, but yeah, so I thought that was my period, so I'm like, <laughs> I'm not pregnant, yeah, but then like two days later, I don't like, there's like a no more, no more bleeding, and I'm like, you know what, well this is odd, <laughs> so I tell her, and she tells me what spotting is, and she's like, you probably just spotting, you probably are pregnant, blah blah blah, I'm like, I'm not pregnant, and she's like, we're gonna go get a test tomorrow, and blah blah blah, on the next day, I went with my friend Walter, okay, so, and as I'm with my friend Walter, um, we're at his house and he says that he wants to make pancakes but he doesn't have the right ingredients. So he said that I'm going to have to walk with him to the store. I'm going to have to uh, stay at his house. And I'm like, I'm not staying at your house. Like after what happened the first time when I stayed at someone's house, I'm good. I'm just going to go with you. Uh, we're walking to 99 cent store and I'm thinking, you know, I was like, you know what? I wonder if this store has a pregnancy test. So I'm like thinking I'm just going to get one there. As we're walking, um, I'm like thinking, you know, I'm like, I wonder if this store has a pregnancy test. I'll go, I'll just like, I'll ask him to get one for me and blah, blah, blah. So we get to the 99 cent store, like not even like two minutes later, because it's like a fast walk. He lives right there. As we're there, I like, he goes to the pancake aisle and I go like looking for pregnancy tests and I find the pregnancy test. I'm like, oh, this is it. Okay. So I grab the pregnancy test and I like put it. Okay. So we're, we're going to the, um, 
the checkout aisle. I think I don't know. Checkout lane. That's what it's. Checkout lane. That's what it's called. Okay, we're in the checkout lane, and as we're in the checkout lane, um, I like he's put he puts his pancake batter on there, on the little the cart thingy. I like put the pregnancy test on there. He looks at me. He's like. What do you need this for? <laughs> and I'm like, um, I just need it. He was like, I'm not getting this. They're gonna think that the baby's mine. I was like, dude, like, we're both black. I think they'll just think that we're brother and sister. And then I was like, even though you're darker than me. And he, he was like, what do you mean? Like, I'm like, J just get the just get the test, dude. And he's like, why do you need it? Like, is there something you need to tell me? And I was like, yes, I think I think the test should say it all that I might be pregnant. So just get the test. So he gets the test. Yeah. So as we're walking, he's like talking about it and stuff. He's like, I can't believe this. Blah blah blah. I can't believe this. Um, what if you are pregnant? Blah blah blah. What are you gonna do? You're stupid. You didn't think first. Blah blah. blah. So I'm just like, okay, whatever. It's gonna be negative anyway. So we get to his house and I use um, I like use his bathroom. It was like a drop thingy. I was like, what the fuck is this? Like, what is this? Like, I'm I'm used to like seeing people in commercials pee on a stick, but um, so. I like pee in like the little bag thing. Like there's like a bag. I was like, I don't know how to do this. But anyway, so I did that. I got the little drop thingy and I put in the test. I look at it and then it was quick too. It didn't even take like five seconds, but it was like already like one light popped up and then the second. I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> I remember because I screamed and he like came in the bathroom. He was like, what's wrong? And I was like, it's up. I think I showed him, it was like, it's positive and blah, blah, blah. And he's like, see, you're so stupid. What are you going to do? And blah, blah, blah. And I, like, I just thought, I, and then I started crying. I felt like, because I was like, I didn't, like, I didn't know what to do. What was I going to do? And, um, and I was like, kind of, I was really scared, you know? So I remember I called A and I was like, I, I feel bad, but I called him and I was like, I'm pregnant. And then he was like, oh, uh, you're, you are? And then I was like, yeah, I want you're going to pay for me to get an abortion. <laughs> he was like, oh, he didn't want me to get one. But I was like, you're, you're going to get me one. Um, so, yeah, that's how I told him. And I hung up the phone. And after that, I wasn't talking to him because I was, like, really upset. I was like, you got to be pregnant, bro. I, like, I know that I, I, I was in this, too. But I'm pregnant. I, I was really mad. So I'm still at Walter's house. And I'm, like, I'm really upset. I'm, like, crying and stuff. So, and then I'm like screaming, oh, how could he do this to me? <laughs> um, yeah, so that's how that happened. Um, and then this is how I told my parents, okay. So I, at the time I was a runaway, um, a lot of stuff happened. I was considered a runaway, even though I got kicked out. But anyway, I didn't exactly tell them. I just posted it on Facebook like, I'm pregnant. And yeah, that's how they found out. And um, after they found out, a lot of stuff happened. Like, oh. A lot of stuff happened and I ended up getting into foster care um so as I was pregnant I was in foster care living in like different teen mom shelters and stuff so I was like in different teen mom shelters um I was I'm not gonna say like the names because like I want them to be like reserved I'll talk I'll probably talk about it in like another video yeah I'll probably just talk about it in another video um Probably talk about like my labor in another video too. I don't know. It depends on what y'all want. So whatever you want, just like comment and I'll probably do it, you know. Because why not? I'm always bored. I don't get anything to do. Anyway, I got a good baby who doesn't cry. She's independent. She likes being on her own. She doesn't even like me holding her anymore, which kind of sucks. But it's fine, I guess. But yeah, that was like my story on how I was like pregnant. I got pregnant. I told people I was pregnant. I think that's it. You should like subscribe and like or however other videos do that stuff you should subscribe and like this um subscribe to my channel because i'm gonna do like a whole bunch of other videos i'm gonna try to like keep trying to upload videos to this channel and i'm gonna try to do more videos with um me and my daughter together just like, i'm gonna try to like look up things that i should do or you should tell me what i should do in the comments uh, but yeah make sure you like like this video and thank you for watching um, I'm sorry that it was like a weird video and like it I don't know is this video gonna be short I don't know I'm gonna like go and go ahead and edit the video and um yeah thank you for watching bye bye